Mindhunter is considered to be the true crime golden boy, beloved by this community that loves this genre and being a lover of the genre myself, I pretty much had to check this out. So anyways, Mindhunter was created by John Penhow. Season 1 aired 2017 and Season 2 aired two years later in 2019. And it's about two FBI agents who interview serial killers and using that knowledge they help solve cases along the way. So this review is going to be similar to my Black Mirror review where I am going to review all the seasons together and then give my individual ratings at the end. So the story of Mindhunter is very down to earth. There's not much action happening, but it's still extremely engaging. The case solving that they do and the use of tactics is really interesting to see. You know, a lot of the cat and mouse type stuff, definitely really cool. But the best part of the show by far are the interviews that they conduct. They're incredibly well made. They're really interesting to listen to, but also terrifying. It always feels like something could go wrong. So I'm really enjoying the series. But then season two comes along and it was pretty good, you know, until I reached the very end where I kind of realized what the hell was this even about? And my main problem probably is that it just feels inconclusive. There's so much teasing and teasing and teasing in the season, but it never leads to any meaningful payoff. And the lack of a season three or any announcement of it makes it even worse. And don't worry, this is not the end of the world. They haven't really made any decisions that are irreversible. So I'm still going to watch season three. So both Holden and Bill in the show are great. I love both them individually and their dynamics together are also really interesting to watch. But like I mentioned before, the best part is the serial killers, the makeup, the acting. They did such a great job that it actually feels like I'm listening to the real deal when they come on. However, everybody else in the show is pretty much decent. And one problem that I really have, and this is probably a major problem, is the dialogue. And it feels incredibly forced. You don't really notice this during like the case solving scenes because it actually fits into the environment, strangely enough. But during the small talk scenes when not much is going on, it definitely does stick out like a sore thumb. And as a result, there's pretty much no romantic chemistry in this show between any two characters, with the only exception being Bill and his wife. But then again, that's more of a marriage relationship. So I'm liking the characters as well, and then season 2 just makes it all the more worse. Holden in this season pretty much stays static the whole time compared to his dynamically changing character in season 1. Everybody else in this season is much less interesting. Bill is the only one who has improved, but then again his character arc doesn't really have any meaningful payoff either. So overall I'll say the characters are good, but not great. So in terms of the presentation, I feel like the editing is pretty good. They did a really good job on how it builds tension and plays into the story. But the cinematography is pretty bland. This movie shot pretty standard. There's not much to look at or be interested in, in how they did the camera work. Soundtrack is good though. I think I like that. It definitely does capture the 80s era greatly. The opening track is pretty boring though. I mean, how many of you stayed through the opening track for every single episode? You know, I think they could have made that a little more interesting. So in conclusion, I'll give the season 1 of this show a 7 out of 10, and season 2 a 5 out of 10. The story is fascinating, the characters are extremely well written, and presentation is incredibly tight. However, I did not like season 2 as much as season 1. So based on these, I guess I'd recommend this show to anybody who is a fan of the true crime genre. Definitely go give this a try. Mindhunter is the show all of us crime nerds needed and is likely to go down as a classic among the genre, a must-watch among any newcomers. One could say it's becoming a mind hunter itself.